Last December, France hosted the United Nations Conference on Climate Change in order to draw new policies to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius. 186 countries agreed to contribute. What will Luxembourg do? The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, five times winner at the Eurovision contest, the least populated country of the EU, and of course, as everyone knows, has the most famous language in the world, Luxembourgish. As those facts represent the core of Luxembourgish culture, the country faces some sustainable development issues. In 45 years, the number of cars per thousand inhabitants tripled. 8 out of 10 Luxembourgish use their car every day. And as a consequence, the CO2 emissions increased by 175% since 1990. Hello again, and welcome to the biggest car park of Luxembourg, Glacy. As people enjoy a higher living standard, the probability that they buy a car is higher than elsewhere. In fact, Luxembourg has the highest number of cars per thousand inhabitants in the EU. 741 cars per thousand inhabitants. One might ask, why don't people take the public transportation? Well, Luxembourg is in fact a very peculiar city. As most of the capitals in the world enjoy trams and subways, Luxembourg only has a bus system. In fact, did you know that the population triples during the day? Why? Because the country has borders with France, Belgium and Germany, and every day thousands of people come working to the country. Even more shocking, 8 out of 10 of those people travel by car. We are here at the tram exposition. To deal with the major car problem, Luxembourgish government decided to launch a tram system. The tram will be completed in 2021. The tram will be 100% electric, which contributes to the sustainable development of Luxembourg. The tram can carry up to 10,000 people every hour in each direction. Can you imagine the car reduction per day? In my opinion, Improvements could be done in creating obstacles to use the car. For example, for every new building, only one third of the employees could have access to a car park. This way, it guarantees that two thirds use the public transportation. 